Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome. Um, today is a little bit of a different video that I'll be doing. Um, I'd like to share with you what I received for my birthday. Uh, my birthday was two weeks ago, so my apologies for the delay. I simply just have not had the time to film this, but I would love to share with you what I received and if you want any further information about um, any of the products that I have mentioned, um, I'll do my best to do a mini review or another video on a particular thing that you would like like to hear more about so without further ado let's get ahead with it um, my first item that I did receive is this gorgeous Tom Ford lipstick it is in the shade um, pussycat and I already have done a swatch for you which is here it comes it's basically like a, a pinky movie color and I'm actually wearing it on my lips um, today but I'll just show you what it looks like in the bullet there so as you can see there's the difference um, it's a really really lovely creamy formula and as I said before, it is matte, so it does stay and is long lasting for quite some time throughout the day. So I would thoroughly recommend a Tom Ford purchase if you're thinking about it. And continuing on with more makeup, I actually have received this Hourglass blush. I'm super excited to use this. I've never actually used a Hourglass blush before, but I have heard they are amazing. And the packaging obviously is beautiful um, it is in the shade mood exposure and this is what it looks like so it's a deep kind of dusty rose pink with a highlight shimmer through it so can't wait to use that another piece of makeup item that um, I did receive is the Urban Decay Naked 2 basics palette I, ha I do own the naked palette in the three I think it is um, but I've had this on my wish list for quite some time purely because it is super small and super duper travel friendly um, I don't really like to carry or travel around with my naked three palettes so I'm super excited that I've received this it comes with all of these gorgeous um, neutral shades and they are very very pigmented um, so I cannot wait to take this on my little travel journey with me. Um, I also received some perfume, which is a Jo Malone one. This is actually from my mum, and it is in the fragrance 154 Cologne. Uh, this is quite a masculine um, type smell, I would say, but it's a really good uh, base layering note for another Jo Malone perfume to be sprayed on top. So I find it extremely versatile in that retrospect. But absolutely love the packaging um, and I'm so excited to start using this in summertime. Speaking about perfume as well, I was lucky enough to also receive a Tom Ford perfume and this is actually from my sister. It is in the fragrance White Patchouli and it comes in this gorgeous white ceramic porcelain type bottle which looks absolutely divine and obviously has the white detailing on it so uh, really really uh, highly floral scent but it's very fresh and, and fragrant so really excited to also pop that as my as my signature kind of summer fragrance as well and I'm pretty sure every girl needs some kind of tech item so I did receive this amazing um, nightstand from one of my friends who works at Apple um, as you guys know I do have an eye watch that I probably wear almost every day and it actually is charging on this today so I found this extremely useful and versatile I'm pretty sure someone everyone should have one of these because it's very very useful I also bought myself a pair of Gucci sunglasses which are this kind of uh, cat eye style frame I would say I'm not sure what the product code is um, but they're in the tortoiseshell detail with gold hardware so they have this um, beautiful detailing on the side this like etching detail with the logo and it's the same on the other side too but I don't own a pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses so I've been using these constantly um, and they don't slip or anything they're very very comfortable so I'm been loving these the packaging of it, I'll just show you quickly, is a collapsible um, case. So it collapses into one of those envelope ones and obviously it comes with the cloth as well. And moving on to a little bit of homewares, I actually received this gorgeous like um, throw from my auntie. It's by a brand called Elvang Denmark and it is this kind of nutty brown colour and it's been extremely versatile for the past couple of weeks. Um, 
as you know here in Sydney it is quite cold and I've been using this to throw over my shoulders when I'm down in the living room or you can drape it across your, your couch or, or a chair and it's just been extremely versatile. I think this is made in Peru but um, it's so big that you can use it as a, as a throw, as a little like shawl, you can use it in multiple ways so I've been getting a lot of use out of that for the past couple of weeks. My last other homeware piece is this beautiful carafe that my mum found me. I've actually had my eye on one of these for a while and she bought it from a design shop here in Sydney called Living Edge. Um, it's handmade in Italy and I just absolutely love the, the detailed textures of the, two, of the two pieces of glassware and I can't wait to use this in summertime for a nice cocktail out in the sun. Um, I think it'll be extremely versatile and very useful and a little bit of a statement piece I think when people come over. Um, I also got a beautiful little piece from this store and this is from um, some of my girlfriends and I'll just quickly show you to you, it's my first ever um, Acne uh, Studios scarf. It's 100% virgin wool and it is made in Italy. And I can't tell you how extremely excited I was when I opened this up. I've been wanting one of these for so long and I've heard how great they are. It's huge, it's absolutely ginormous, um, but it's so, so versatile in terms of like what you wear on a daily basis. You can wear it um, throughout the day through the, and then through into the night. Um, I wear it sometimes around the house. It's just the perfect thing to just throw on um, when you're just feeling a little bit cold on your shoulders and I've had ex like so much use out of it, it's not funny. Um, if any of the girls are watching, thank you so much for this. I absolutely adore it. My final product though of this video is in fact a handbag. So I would like to share with you my latest edition, which is a Chloe Marcy bag. Uh, my boyfriend helped contribute towards this, of course. And I think it's in the mini or the or the small size. I'm not quite sure. Um, and it is in the blue color. Um, again, I'm not actually quite sure what the official name is for it. Uh, it has that beautiful pebbled leather texture to it, and it's kind of a little bit distressed and a little bit slouchy, which is why I like it. It's more of a casual bag, weekend bag. But I've also been wearing this to work almost every day because it fits absolutely everything that I need. Um, it does come with an adjustable strap and it does feature gold tone hardware. And I'll just quickly show you what it's like. It has one um, slot compartment in the front here and then it's just an open um, compartment, main compartment there with a little slip pocket at the back. Um, I'm extremely, extremely happy about this and I love the color of it. I didn't think I would be kind of like a blue handbag kind of girl but this is my first blue handbag and I've I found it very versatile and really easy to match with a lot of my outfits. Um, one great thing I do love about this bag also is that it fits my iPhone 6 Plus in it. So very, very happy about that. I'll just quickly show you the packaging as well, which um, is here. We bought this from Matches Fashion. So this actually isn't the Chloe packaging, but it's matchesfashion.com, I think it is. Um, and this is kind of what the box looks like. It's a collapse, uh, not a collapsible, but a magnetic box and Chloe bags I believe do not come with a box so uh, there is only a dust bag that's included which is this white cloth um, dust bag so very excited about that. I just also like to mention the price point for this was extremely reasonable. If you're looking at buying a, a an entry level designer handbag this I felt was a really great purchase for me. Not saying that it's you know ridiculously cheap but for an entry point um, handbag I thought this was a great, great little buy. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. If you want any information about anything that I mentioned, please leave a um, some information down below and I'll try best to respond to you as quickly as possible. Thanks.